Hey, hey guys, Kirsty Snyder here, ready to rock for Mindset Monday. It is, mm, let's see, noon Eastern on the 25th of September. If you are catching the replay from our YouTube playlist, please put replay in the comments below this video, and then be sure to be intentionally present, give and gain so that you can win every single time by being intentional. Now I'm going to stream into our Facebook group, and then we'll get rocking here for the next few minutes. Thank you guys for popping on. It's awesome that you are intentional. It really is. All right. Let's stream live now. Make sure we can rock and roll. What's up, you guys? Kiersey Snyder here, ready to rock for Mindset Monday. It is the 25th of September at noon Eastern. If you do not see the red light button in the corner, that means you are catching the replay, which means that you got to give and gain at the same time, act as if you were live with us on the same date that it happened on the 25th. Okay. Now, remember you can catch all replays for Mindset Monday, either in our Facebook group, like some of you guys are here. If you don't see the red live button, the red live button, make sure to put replay in the comments if you're seeing it from our Facebook group. If you want access to all of them without having to search it um, inside the Facebook group, you can always go to mindsetmondayreplays.com mindsetmondayreplays.com that has over a year and a half worth of replays that we've done on Monday. And if you were to tap into it once a week, once a day, whatever else, even if it was, you know, six months ago that you're catching a replay on, I can guarantee you that that proximity, that intentional, I'm going to learn about something that at one point or another was applicable to my success. Because even a year ago, even six months ago, whatever we talked about was applicable. It really was. But it's a matter of, are you being intentional about learning and engaging and being in proximity for what works around people who you want to become like around the mindset that you want to have? Because the mindset is the kicker here. The mindset that you hold or don't hold is the kicker to success in this business. And it's up to you to succeed with it because you are the indicator of your life. You're the common denominator. Okay. 35 of you guys on right now, make sure to drop me a comment. Um, Say anything in the chat, okay? Uh, let's see, there's about 50 of you guys on now. Make sure to comment something so we can boost this into the algorithm, get way over just 25 comments that we have right now, okay? I'd love to hear from you, give you a shout out. Let me know what city, state, or what country you're tuning in from. Let's shout it out this morning. And even those on the replay, if you're acting intentionally present, which hopefully you are, that means that you're also going to be commenting below something like, hey, I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado in the United States, right? Because again, when you give, you gain. Make sense? All right. We got South Africa. We got Michigan. We have New Mexico, Philippines. Okay, keep it coming in, you guys. Another South Africa. Love it, Brad. South Carolina. Where else? Where else? Keep it coming in. <laughs> Stacy, good to have you. Let's see, New Jersey, Arkansas, Detroit, love it. Okay, keep coming in, guys. All right, so something I want to discuss with you, and it, it's hopefully a challenge that gets your mind going. The thing that's hard about it is, is I decided to do something that was you choose it instead of saying, this is what you're going to do, this is how it works. It's this is what you're going to do, and you're going to choose in what aspect, okay? Okay. So there's a lot of accountability that goes into it because if I were to say, this is what we're doing, this is what we're going to launch, this is what we're going to blitz to, this is what, whatever, then it'd be a cookie cutter thing, right? Not in this situation. The task or the objective that I'm going to have you guys go for this morning is going to have the principle behind it. It's going to have the concept backing it, but mine might be different than yours. Yours you might need to think about for a sec. The biggest thing is you get to be so specific in what it is. Here's the concept. Here's the analogy. Here's the principle. Now, what about it are you going to execute? What are you going to choose in the execution? Okay. What I mean by that is because it's not cookie cutter, it's going to require you a bit more accountability because it's not going to be a cookie cutter thing. It's going to be custom built for you and what you feel at this time you need the most. So it's going to be different for everybody. Some people might do the same type of thing. Other people might not do the same type of thing. You get to decide that, but you got to do it today and you got to start today. Okay. Now, before I dive into that, I want to know your commitment. Okay. There's 80 something of you guys on 80 comments come through. Keep it coming in. You guys, let's boost it into the algorithm. We're almost at 90 people. 
Um, I want you to be accountable, but I want you to be accountable for yourself or why that matters because how you're accountable in this business is how you're accountable in your life. That's a truth bomb right there. How you are accountable inside of this business or how you're not accountable, how you're in your head, how you are kind of willy nilly, how you're kind of committed, but not really. Oh, I didn't have time. Oh, I pull excuses. Oh, I, I can't get sales. And you've come up with all these reasons as to why shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? How you show up in this business is exactly how you show up in your other things in your life, your health, your mindset, how you respond to people. If you're patient, how you are with your children, um, how you are in the workplace. Do you show up on time? Do you kind of halfway do your job? However you show up in this business is a direct reflection of how you show up in everything else. So if you don't like where you are in this business, it's probably bleeding into everything else. Is that fair to say? Put the word fair in the comments if you feel me. Okay, listen. If we were to do a hundred times of something, if we were to do a hundred days of something, if we were to do a hundred reps of something, if we were to do a hundred pieces of something, if we were to do 100 minutes of something, does that make sense? A hundred something. If you were to start today and do a hundred days of 100 minutes of something inside this business, this is your challenge, okay? That's catered to you, not cookie cutter. Do you know how unrecognizable you'd be after that little over three month period? 100 days starting today, September 25th, 100 days from now, someone quickly pull up the calendar. What's exactly 100 days from now? Pull pull a calendar out for me. It's like, what, the very, very beginning of January? Is that right? Give or take January 5th? No. January 1st? What is it? Tell me. <laughs> someone hurry and count 100 days from today, the 25th of September. Let me know. 100 days. So three months. So like give or take 90 days, Brad would be Christmas, but what's 10 days beyond that? Uh, like the third, fourth is approximately new year's day. Really Paul for real. That is so funny because that was not expected. <laughs> January 3rd. K okay, is January 3rd. Correct. I think it's January. Isn't it January 3rd or the fourth something in there? Okay, can someone confirm 100% what's exactly 100 days from September 25th? What's exactly 100 days from right now? January 4th, January 3rd. Okay, we're split between the two. Which one is it? Let me know. <laughs> January 3rd. Shannon, should we go with what you say? Okay, listen. If you were to start something right now and go 100 days straight, landing on, say, January 3rd, it sounds like. Do you know how unrecognizable you'd be? Okay, now here's the thing. January 3rd, it looks like, okay? That's kind of ironic because that's literally right in the new year. That's a little over three months time. That's you closing out fourth quarter of stellar results. Okay, here's the challenge for you though. Let's dive a little bit deeper. But again, custom built to you. This is not cookie cutter. I'm gonna explain what my 100 day stretch is and then you guys are gonna do the same thing. Okay. 100 days. This, these are the two things, 100 days of 100 minutes a day. Okay. That's an hour and 40 minutes. Some of you are like, Oh no, I don't have 140 minutes. You're right. You're right. And come January 3rd, you're still going to be saying the same BS to yourself. Oh, no time. oh this is too much. Right. So shift the perception. Don't want you whining and winning already. You haven't even started. Okay. Two indicators for a hundred day challenge. 100 days. Pick something, whether it's multiple things within that hundred minutes per day for a hundred days, or it is a couple things. If it's one specific focus or say you splice it up for a month, you're going to do a hundred minutes every single day of this one thing. And then after month one, you're going to do a hundred minutes of one thing for the second month, et cetera. Okay. This is why it's kind of, it's kind it's custom, but it's not cookie cutter. Okay. It's one and the same. 
because it's up to you. So it's going to require different accountability. And you know what? Based on your feedback, we might have it be more cookie cutter or we might have it be more flexible. I don't know. This is literally something I thought of this morning. Even Bill and Daniel don't know what I'm talking about because I'm literally talking about it right now with you guys. <laughs> okay. This was not anticipated on purpose at all. Okay. 100 days of 100 minutes per day of something directly related to your SHG business. With the funnel team, you selling the savings membership, generating yourself 50% commissions on initial sales, 25% residuals, okay? The 100-day challenge consists of 100 minutes per day over 100 days, totaling out to January 3rd when you choose to start today, okay? 100 days. You know, here's my thought on it, okay? 100 minutes. Let's just throw out some examples, actually. There's 100 of you guys on. What examples? What would you think to yourself? I want to do 100 minutes of this over the next 100 days. No excuses. That's an hour and 40 minutes of my time every single day. Keep in mind, oh, no, that includes the weekend. That includes the holiday. That includes Halloween coming up. That includes Thanksgiving. That includes Christmas. That includes New Year's Day and New Year's Eve. 100 days, not up until I don't feel like it, but 100 days of 100 minutes. Some of you guys are like, oh no, I know him. You're about it. You're excited. You're committed. And then come a week, come a day from now, you're like, you know, <laughs> not me, not really feeling it today. Right. Make sense. So you have to, this is your challenge. Okay, this is the challenge. We're going to talk about this again on Focus Friday. 100 days of 100 minutes. What are you going to put into your 100 minutes over the next 100 days? Drop me a comment. Let me know. 90 something of you guys on, drop me a comment. Even those on the replay from the YouTube playlist, even those on the replay from our Facebook group, you don't see the red light button in the corner. Okay, focus on SHG, stop getting scared. Okay, cool. But what does that mean, Nikki? 100 minutes of focusing on SHG, not getting scared. What's the actual task that you're doing for the 100 minutes? Just thinking about how you're not going to be scared? Or what is it that you're doing? Because prep, preparation, Brad, I'm going to shoot it to you straight. Nope, that will not work. I got to prep for 100 minutes. Prep for what? Preparation does not main success. Preparation does not mean action. Preparation does not mean results. Okay. Consistency, following the formula, make more videos talking. Ashley, what does that mean? How many videos could you actually do? All of you guys, not just Ashley. How many videos could you actually do if you gave yourself, literally you timed yourself every single day for 100 minutes, an hour and 40 minutes of time I don't care if you do it in one swing or you do an hour in the morning, 40 minutes at night, you do it on your lunch break for 30 minutes, but you time yourself and you have to equal one hour and 40 minutes. Creating and uploading. Rory, what does that mean? Consistency. So what, Anna, what does that mean? 10 videos a day, Ashley. Could you do 10 videos executed with the edits, the sound, the posting on the three platforms, et cetera, in a hundred minutes? Yeah. I mean, that would be like small, to be honest, depending how quickly a person compounds it, right? The things that you guys are commenting right now, I just want you to check in with yourself. You can alter this formula 100 days for 100 minutes doing something inside of your business. You can alter it any time. The problem is, is so many of you guys, because I'm giving the opportunity for you to alter it. Okay. I'm going to go my first two weeks posting 10 videos a day. I'm going to take that 100 minutes of time for the first 14 days of the 100 day stretch and say, I'm going to do 10 videos in that hour and 40 minute time frame, Right. But you got to make sure that after the two weeks, you're not switching what you do for the 100 minutes every single day till January 3rd, because you're like, oh, this is hard. Oh, I can't. No. It would almost make more sense to drill down what are two, say, say two to three things in the one hour and 40 minutes from now, September 25th until January 3rd. What can I do? Two or three things every single day. No excuses. 
no, I didn't get to it. No, I didn't have time for it. No, I just didn't feel like it. Literally, you are 100% committed, obligated, as if your life depended on it. Your finances depend on it. 100 days, 100 minutes. What can you actually truly commit to for 100 days straight? Because I'll give you an example of the, you know, posting 10 videos a day, 10 videos a day for 100 days. You guys, that's a lot of content. Is that alone, that one thing going to be the biggest indicator come January 3rd towards your success for generating 2,500, 5,000, 7,500, 10 grand a month passively, passively, meaning after the initial sale, you're putting in the work. Now you're reaping a harvest and come three months from now, 100 days from now, you're unrecognizable. What if come January 3rd, you had a guaranteed locked in $5,000 passive wave income every single month within the funnel team? Do you think, and only you can answer this, do you think, do you truly in your heart of hearts, 110% believe and commit and know that the example, posting 10 videos a day for 100 days, you guys, that's pretty gnarly. It's not that you can't do it. I've done it multiple times, a couple months out of this year, posting 10 videos a day. It's a lot. Do you honestly, truly, genuinely want to commit to the example, not literal, just the example, 10 videos a day, taking 100 minutes each day, creating those 10 videos, editing, posting, whatever else, right? Canis, exactly. Could that burn you out? Could that be a mental strain? Because here's the thing, hear me out when I say this, there's a difference between you going beyond what you've done so that you can push yourself out of the box you're in compared to you going beyond what you've done and mentally paralyzing. Make sense? Let me know if that makes sense because there's a, there's a line here. Between actual mental exhaustion, which is not helping you. In fact, it's paralyzing you. It's what people in the industry would call burnout compared to this is pushing me beyond what I've done. So I know I'm excited about it. I'm not paralyzed, excited or paralyzed, totally different. Make sense? What you're going to have to discover for yourself is 100 day stretch, 100 minutes a day. That's an hour and 40 minutes from now, September 25th until January 3rd, 2024, every single day doing 100 minutes of something that's specifically about this business. It could be posting content. It could be going live for 30 minutes of that 140. It could be you listening to a book on Audible, it could be you exercising and listening to a replay on Mindset Monday. It doesn't really matter what it is. It matters that you do it. Does that make sense? Drop me the word makes sense. Give me some examples though, you guys. Those are the quick examples that I have, but give me some examples. Darla Key just put, do five videos a day, do an email out to the list. Engage with each training, encourage action and following. Um, do mindset drilling daily, daily evaluate your results. Okay, cool. I love that, Darla. So nail it down even further and not necessarily right now, but something that you can take inventory for, for yourself, write it down, execute it, make sure you align with it hundred percent. So Darla's example of doing five videos a day, doing an email out to each, each person a day on her list, engage with training, encourage action from following. Okay. Mindset drilling daily and daily evaluate your results. So for example, the last two, Darla, do mindset drilling daily. How much time in the 100 minutes every single day, how much time is it going to be for mindset drilling? What does that mean? How, how does that look? Is that listening to a book? Is that reading a page? Is that studying something? Is that writing down notes? What is the mindset drilling? What is that? You've got to define it. Okay. And then the last one, Darla says daily evaluate your results. Okay, cool. Well, here's the thing. There are some people, not Darla, not you girl, just, you know, in general, there are some people who could evaluate their results, their data, their backing for literally a hundred minutes a day, because they get so invested in the busy work of what that is not saying you can't do it, 
But if you're not incredibly executing, here's my data, here's my exact formula, here's where I was, here's where I am, here's the math behind it, whatever. Here's how I'm improving, right? Some people could take an hour and 40 minutes to do that every single day. So as the example of Darla, you know, what does mindset drilling mean? How much time are you spending in the 140? Daily evaluate your results. Okay, cool. Well, is that how much time in the 100 minutes, the one hour and 40 minutes is that going to take of your 100 day stretch? Does that make sense? Let's see. The training, let's see. Watch a video from short form video training, then make as much content based on the rest of the time you have watched. Okay, cool. So the only problem, and it's not a problem, but this is what you'll have to consider, Roy. Watch a video from the short form video training playlist, right? There's like 15 or however many of them on there. Doing something like that could be completely altered because if there's only 15, that's only two weeks of a hundred days, right? That's only 14 days of a hundred days. If you were to watch one every single day and because they're teachable Tuesday replays, Roy, that's about an hour of time for the training, which leaves you 40 minutes to do content about the training that you just saw. So could it, and not saying you need to do this. I'm just literally spitting off examples, but could you say I'm going to, cause 15, 15 over a hundred days. Could you watch? You could almost watch one a week and land at your 100 day mark by doing one training video a week for short form video playlist. And then that entire week doing content for a hundred minutes, you know, say you watch the video on a Monday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way to Sunday, you just do what you learned inside that short form video. Does that make sense? Because 12 weeks would be three months. So give or take, you're at 13 and a half weeks. So only two weeks out of a hundred days where you would be bulking up to more. And that's assuming we don't add another replay for short form video, right? Does that make sense? That was a lot, <laughs> but I'm sure you guys get it. Okay. This starts the beginning of the 100 day challenge, 100 minutes per day including the holiday, including when you don't feel like it, including when you suggested I have the time and then you did not make the time. Time is a perception. Time is a priority. You'll always have a hundred and a hundred minutes a day extra for yourself, but are you too busy watching Netflix instead? Because that's just like what, what you're used to. Well, guess what? You got to shock your body into doing something else in order to shock your results, which means finances increase. Make sense. 100 day challenge starting right now, September 25th. I don't care if you see this later on. Let's say you watch it November 7th, still start because there's something about doing something consistently for a hundred days for a stupid, specific amount of time that yeah, it snowballs. It just compounds. You don't think about your compounded interest for, you know, whatever account that you have yet you accumulate it. Well, you not thinking about that account, but you're getting more, right? Is because of what you set up. It's because of the habit that you're creating. And if you want habits that pay you big, if you want impact that helps you in a big way, it starts with what skill sets am I intentionally making for myself? So if you are in for the 100 day challenge starting now, today, for 100 minutes a day over the next 100 days ending January 3rd or whenever, you start it November 5th. You start it December 16th. I don't really care. The idea is 100 days, 100 minutes a day. In the 100 minutes, what are you committed 110% to do that your future self come January 4th will thank you for? Does that make sense? All right. Drop the word makes sense. Drop the word committed if you guys are because I want you to be, but I want you to be because of your own personal accountability, you surpass your expectation inside this business. You're going to see the ripple effect in every other aspect of your life, finances, your health, your wealth, your relationships, literally all of it is an indicator good or bad for what you do in this business. It bleeds into everything else. It's completely contagious energy. Okay. All right. 
register now for Teachable Tuesday. Bill and Daniel have something really awesome coming for you guys tomorrow. So be sure to be there. You know where to go. Get the link, get registered. Don't hurt it for yourself. Be sure to invite your team and have them there as well. 8 p.m. Eastern, as you always know. And it's also in the Facebook cover photo inside of this group, if ever you forget. 8 p.m. tomorrow on Zoom, get registered now. Make sure that you have your team come as well so you guys can accelerate into what we're doing here. And we'll see you tomorrow for sure. Have an awesome day, you guys.